It's difficult to make a film that is practically pandemic proof, but Illumination succeeded in doing so with Sing 2. What can we expect from our favorite anthropomorphic superstars to return to the stage for Sing 3 now that the plans for a third film have been announced for several years? The Super Mario Bros. movie and Despicable Me are two of the greatest animated films of our time, both of which are produced by Illumination. Likewise, Sing has been a huge hit, with the first two being both critical and financial hits, featuring an all-star cast that included Scarlett Johansson and Matthew McConaughey, the 2016 release of Garth Jennings Sing brought in over 634 million worldwide. My next show is gonna be, drum roll please, a singing competition. Continuing with the fun of a new playlist of hits, Sing 2 in 2021 gave special recognition to Johansson's cover of the Yeah Yeah Yeah's Heads Will Roll. Chris, the founder and CEO of Illumination, thankfully disclosed that a new film is at last in the works, albeit it is progressing slowly. But Netflix's Sing Thriller, a Halloween special, which is based on the popular Sing franchise, caught fans off guard. The cast and characters act out scenes from the music video for the well-known Michael Jackson song Thriller from 1983 in this 11-minute short. For the special, a number of actors return, including Nick Kroll, Taryn Egerton, Tori Kelly, Scarlett Johansson, and Matthew McConaughey. The character, Ms. Crawley, is directed and voiced by Garth Jennings, who also directed the first two movies. The theater troupe opens the special with a play at the theater. There are numerous cameos in the crowd, including the unexpected re appearance of Seth MacFarlane's original voice actor, Mike the Mouse, a beloved character from the first Sing film. They sang a cover of Thriller and performed a show about vegetable zombies made by a crazy scientist. The group goes to a Halloween party after the show. On TV though, Buster Moon notices a report of a laboratory mishap. As they all depart, they stumble upon the chemical spill, which is close to the gathering. When they get there, they discover that the poisonous chemical have rendered almost everyone into a zombie. As they sing Thriller, the zombie group mimics the song's choreography. Ms. Crawley and Buster are the only ones unaffected. A giant octopus tentacle attacks them after they flee on a boat, and Moon awakens to discover that a falling prop has knocked him unconscious. Before they depart for the celebration, they make a suggestion that Ms. Crawley might be a zombie. It feels less like a standalone special and more like a holdover for the next Sing 3. There is only one song in this special, whereas the series is renowned for having several. The 11 minute duration hardly allows for a cohesive narrative as it primarily sings and dances to the same song repeatedly. Given that the first two films were released five years apart, it appears that this special is merely a small diversion. As a result, we may have to wait a long time for the release of the threequel. It's possible that a third film will be released in 2026 if the trend continues. Since Chris stated that Sing 3 was in development back in 2023, we'd be safe to say and assume that the eagerly awaited animated movie will debut sometime in late 2025. However, Sing 2 was delayed because of the pandemic, so we might see 3 sooner. This implies that by the time it hits theaters, any cast members involved would have been portraying their roles for almost a decade. The plot has taken a different turn, which may make it easier for people who don't want to go back. Buster Moon, the de facto protagonist of both ensemble films, would be the most likely character to make a comeback. He might move to a new city to put on a new show because of his nature and aspirations for show business. However, given that he left the Magic Mike cast after the first entry, McConaughey doesn't necessarily have a habit of remaining in franchises. It's very likely that actors like Scarlett Johansson and Reese Witherspoon will return to their roles, continuing the trend established by the first two movies. However, as with any additional follow-up, we can anticipate that the Sing 3 cast will include some new members. Additionally, some of the most popular characters from the first two films might return or play more significant roles in Sing 3. Are you okay? Oh yes, I'm fine, thank you.
How are you? By the time this sequel ends, the group has a regular gig at the Majestic and is backed by the renowned Clay Calloway, which gives the company's repertoire even more legitimacy. Following the success, Sing 3 might examine how the characters deal with their new opportunities and difficulties. But a plot that takes place years after the events of Sing 2 is an even more intriguing possibility for Sing 3. A story full of compassion and character growth can be created by imagining a situation in which the core group broke up and then got back together for a new performance. Without a doubt, Sing 2 opens the door for more adventures for those endearing anthropomorphic actors. Handling the Jimmy Crystal situation would be a different course for Sing 3. After breaking out of his cage and trying to kill Buster Moon, Mr. Crystal instantly changes his tone when he learns that the show is a huge success. Crystal immediately takes the stage and enjoys the applause that is clearly not aimed at him, taking credit for everything. The issue is that when he turns around, he finds that everyone, including his daughter Portia, has left the stage. Crystal is looking foolish as the assembly erupts in thunderous applause. After being humiliated and his true character revealed, Mr. Crystal is finally arrested for attempting to murder Buster Moon. These charges will most likely also apply to his attempt to throw Moon off to its death on the rooftop earlier in the movie. It's possible that he'll return to spice things up. His return may also have an impact on what Buster and his group do in the future. We we want to know what happened to Mike the Mouse too. We saw him in the special and we hope he will return. Mike the Mouse disappeared from Sing 2 according to some because of his gambling addiction. Rumor has it that he became too involved with the gambling bears and lost everything including his home, money and even his beloved fedora. He simply didn't fit the plot of the sequel according to some. There are even those who claim that the bears devoured him. Although Mike's return to Sing 3 is still up in the air, we'll notify you as soon as we know for sure. Sure. The characters in the upcoming movie may embark on a world tour after the group's triumph performances in Red Shore City and Sing 2. An international talent competition could raise the stakes and introduce us to new animals from various cultures, each of whom would perform and sing in their own way. In order to stand out from the competition, Buster Moon and his group may need to change their act. Another hypothesis is that Buster might finally realize his greatest ambition, which is to bring his show to Broadway. A whole new cast of characters might be introduced as a result, such as well-known Broadway performers who are uncomfortable with a group of amateurs attempting to succeed in their field. The film might emphasize the difficulties attempting to blend in with the pros while remaining loyal to the passion and fun that initially brought them success. Sing 3 could concentrate on creating and performing more original music now that the characters are well more established as performers. Character development would be possible as they experiment with their own own styles, write original songs, and cope with the demands of starting from scratch in a very cutthroat field. Pop, rock, and jazz were among the musical genres that Sing 2 introduced. A third film might explore other genres in greater detail, such as classical music, EDM, or hip-hop. It might be intriguing to observe how the existing characters engage with fresh musicians and aesthetics, particularly if they push themselves beyond their comfort zones. Those are only some of the theories that fans have put forth, and Sing 3 will probably keep the warm and humorous tone of the first two movies while introducing new challenges and thrilling music. Another possibility is that new storylines and characters will be introduced in the film. A number of new characters were introduced in Sing 2, such as the pop diva Portia Crystal and the reclusive rock star Clay Calloway. More new characters and their backstories might be introduced in Sing 3. The filmmakers have made it clear that they intend to delve deeper into the theme of finding your voice. In the follow-up, which raises the possibility that new characters will be heavily featured. We'll see you in the next video.